So this video is to give context between the graphical user interface when it's running and the source code which I will go through in other videos. Uh, so this first screen which is the icon screen which selects um, different screens you can go into. Uh, all of these screens are considered app, app modes. Um, so in the actual application itself there's a, a finite state machine which tracks which app mode you're in uh, and so as you go in and out of these app modes it changes that context uh, and within the uh, within any app mode itself um, you've got GUI control so in this case I've got a, a virtual keyboard uh, and a text input box so I can type stuff on the screen and even though the keys are small you can see that actually uh, even though I've got fairly big fingers that the actual um, touch sensitivity is, is quite accurate and so you can actually uh, type in messages quite accurately on this virtual keyboard so that's one of uh, one of the GUI, GUI controls and on the config screen it shows uh, better so you can build up uh, each screen or app, app mode uh, with a bunch of controls and so I've got up down selector here so I can increase the value or decrease the value uh, so you can do that for all of these configuration values check boxes so you can select them unselect them uh, and then you can go into these other areas so I've got buttons down here which give me um, sub app modes so the so you're in an app mode and then you can go into a, a like a sub uh, status machine uh, so if I go into clock and it gives me settings where I can set the clock so if I set it to 2021 uh, and the, the time's not right because I don't have a battery backup on this anyway uh, but if I change the time, and you can see the time down there is 4.46 and it's 20.20. Now if I select the tick button uh, and it changes the time to what I've selected. So you can enter values and then pass them back through the use of messages to other parts of the application. Uh, so that's basically the, the overview of these, uh, of these screens. And everything you see on these screens is just uh, a... GUI control or a um, primitive graphics primitive so you can draw lines and, and boxes and things like that and field boxes uh, and on here you see a bunch of text well each line of this text is a GUI control uh, and it actually merges so you see I've got the font here blue on orange uh, and it because the, the actual font itself is semi-transparent so it's anti-aliased with semi-transparency it actually merges the background color with the uh, foreground color. Uh, so the same font down here, but it's black on white, oh, sorry, white on black, I should say. Uh, so that's the way the font works as well.